balance for your strength test. Okay, now, we're gonna be going through some basics, okay? The whole week, you've been teaching your body to be really tight, stable, and load, okay? And it's been leading up to this moment, all right? So, what we're gonna start off with is the squat, okay? So, same thing as you've been doing all week, the only difference is that now you're going to be coming up explosively, all right? So it'll look like this. Again, you'll come in and you're going to get, grab a hold of the bar, bend the bar so that you start to wind up that tension in the shoulder, which goes into your upper back. Under the bar, get your pelvis under your shoulders, core is on, brace up. Get your stance right. Deep breath in, core tight, back tight, spread the floor. Really good tip with this guys is to make sure that you are gripping on tight. Something like 70 to 80% of the motor neurons from your cort the neocortex in your brain actually go into your hand. As you know, we do a lot with our hands, so we have a very good relationship with it. Now, what that means is in the gym, in terms of application, is that the more you can grip, the more what's known as irritation or neural overflow you're gonna get to the rest of your body. And you can test this out, okay? If you grab a hold of something, you grip it, the harder you grip it, the more muscles all over your body will start to actually engage. If you try and grip it as hard as you can, you'll actually notice your core gets engaged even more as well. Okay, so that's going to help with lifting heavy weights. Okay. Also, guys, you'll notice that I was really trying to come up as explosive as possible. That's because we're trying to train, train for strength here. Okay. So nice and controlled on the way down, but explosive up. Okay? Bench press. So. Again, the, the shoulder develops power from the ground up, so you want to be making sure that you get your feet in a position where you can actually generate drive through the legs. Right? So the best way to do that is to actually slide back on the bench a little bit and get your feet in a good position. Okay? Now, if you suffer with lower back issues, you may find you can't get as far back. That's okay. All right. Set your grip. Feet are locked in. Slide down, and as you do, pull your shoulder blades back and down. So you're trying to get this effect, a nice strong arch. Start by pushing the feet down and the heels down. There. Deep breath in. Crack. Hold the breath. Hey guys, so just wanted to interject here. Obviously you can see me pushing the weight up considerably slowly. As this is a strength test, you really want to be pushing the bar up as fast as possible, okay? This particular part of the video was actually filmed for our initiation week, uh, or more correctly, the break-in routine, where we are actually purposely going slower. But when you're doing your strength test, we want to be making sure that you're pushing up fast. All right, the deadlift now, guys. Now, this is probably the least technical of all exercises, but you want to make sure that you get a few basics right. The first one being that start with your shins on the bar. Whenever you're lifting weights in general, you want to be making sure that you're keeping the load as close to your center of gravity as possible. Obviously, the bar is the load, and your center of gravity is the middle of your foot, okay? So we want to start by getting that bar as close to your center of gravity as possible. That goes for all exercises, okay? Overhead press, squat, bench press in terms of in relation to the shoulder, everything, okay? So, first up, shins on the bar. Start by spreading the floor. You'll go down by pushing the hips back. Keep the chin tight. Tight grip. Take a deep breath in. Sit back and pull the shoulders down and back. Okay, that's gonna engage your lats a lot better. So deep breath in. Okay. Before you go for the lift, make sure that your weight is in the heels so you can feel your glutes engaged. You want to be lifting mostly with the glutes, not too much here. Deep breath. Notice, guys, is that from here up, it's really just a big hip drive. All I'm trying to do is just get my hips right through to the bar. 
your glutes are your strongest muscle in the body, so you want to be making sure that they're getting involved with the lift. Okay, overhead press now, guys. Okay, so with this one, same thing as you've been practicing all week. You want to make sure we've got a strong, stable foundation, good, strong glutes, strong core. Big deep breath in before we lift. The breath in helps to put us into more extension, which helps us to get that arm, that shoulder clearance that we're after. Okay? So, again, bend the bar. Legs on. Glutes on, core on, tight grip, deep breath. Don't fuck it up when you go to re-rack it. Okay guys, now the chin up, okay, with your palms facing you. Now if you have the luxury of an assisted chin up machine, use that, if not just for the warm ups, okay? So, grab a hold, palms facing you, hop on. Okay, glutes are on, so you don't want your butt soft, keep your glutes on tight. Again, slight bend in the elbow, look for the stretch here. You'll notice that I'm keeping my chest up the entire time and trying to draw my shoulders back. Come over here to the actual chin-up bar. Alright, and this is if you can do full body weight chin-ups, guys. Now remember, with all your lifts, you're going for a five rep max. Okay, so I'm going to emulate what the last rep should look like. This is how you'll know if you've reached your five rep max, okay? Basically, what you want to be looking for is that you can't produce good quality form on a sixth rep. Okay, so that fifth rep is the last rep you could do with really good quality form, okay? You could probably get six, but your form would deteriorate, okay? When you're training strength, guys, it's really about tr teaching your nervous system how to handle heavy weights, not about actually taxing you and really going to that point of, you know, grinding and burning. That's more for the bodybuilding stuff, which we'll get into. This strength stuff is more about teaching you how to actually execute properly, okay? So I'm gonna emulate what that would look like if you were to, if your body weight was your five rep max. As you can see, that last rep, I started to slow down on the way up. I could have gone for six, but I would have been struggling and I would have, I may have broken my form and it would have been a grind. We don't want to grind our reps out when we're dealing with heavy weights, guys. If you teach your nervous system to be slow with heavy, heavy weights, you will be teaching your nervous system to be slow. When, when we're talking strength, we want to be teaching it to be explosive and to execute with precision and good form.